Sup everyone, it's day 29. I wanted to tell you something about the views I got on my shorts. So I don't think a lot of those views are even real people because, for example, look at my short uh, after dark edit, life is too short to exercise, something like that. Uh, it has less than 200 views and it has 12 likes. And I think all views are real people. But you can see some of my shorts, those I just re-uploaded the same video with a different quote. You can see a few shorts which have a thousand views and seven likes. That doesn't seem realistic to me. I think I have a, a short that has like uh, 2200 views, but like 17 likes. It doesn't seem realistic to me because there is no way one in 120 people would, would like a short, but watch it fully, watch it almost two times. Because average watch time on my shorts, on those shorts that are four seconds, is 120% on average. That meaning average, average uh, guy who watched my short watched it more than once. Because usually people don't read the full quote in those four seconds. So they watch another few seconds to read it. Uh, so I'm not really sure what uh, this means, but seems like some bots or something. Because there is no way I would get 2000 views in 15 minutes, uh, get 30 likes. Then a few hours later, YouTube removes almost all the likes from the short. That doesn't happen if the likes were real, I think. So I make a short, it blew up in 15 minutes, gets over 2000 views. I get 40 likes on it. And later that day I check and it has like 15 likes left. So, and also subscribers, I get almost no subs for from those um, views. And the few I got, got deleted. I mean removed. So something uh, sketchy is happening, but I'm not sure. I know I'll probably use this method to gain some views because I also get a few subs here and there and uh, some are real people and some of those real people open my channel and see, oh, nice, I could. Uh, this seems interesting. So yeah, that's it, guys. See you tomorrow. I'll now probably finish a few more self-improvement habits and focus on social media marketing agency. I just need to make a decision which services will I offer and immediately after that start reaching out because I'm the type of guy who would uh, get sucked in uh, perfectionism, uh, let's make a perfect website, let's make a perfect Instagram account, let's uh, buy a domain for email uh, and everything like that. And I would never get my first client. Uh, the thing which would be better, as some guys on YouTube said, bro, just choose a service and start reaching out to local businesses, like send emails or cold call. Because why not... Uh, why not try? Why not improve? Because obviously I won't um, get, I most likely won't get any clients that way. But I'll learn. I'll see where I made mistakes and I'll get into the process. Because that's the hardest, uh, that's the hardest part. To go and try to negotiate with people. Uh, so, and uh, making a website with a YouTube tutorial isn't something too hard. I mean, it isn't so easy, but it's comfortable. While going out and reaching out to people is uncomfortable. So, I think I'll try to just see, okay, I'll offer these three services. I'll offer um, to make a website for, uh, for a business or to do Facebook ads or to maybe do Google ads, who knows, or to maybe shoot content or to... Uh, or to manage social media accounts or something like that. And I just need to uh, choose a few services I'll offer 
Or maybe in the beginning I could offer everything because all of these things I mentioned now aren't really hard to do. So I would actually be able to offer everything. But it's a bit weird because you seem like a guy who just who just wants to earn money and not a professional because professional wouldn't offer everything. But let's see. I'll test out different things and see which works. It's just important to take action because I'm the type of guy who gets sucked in and never took, uh, takes any action in terms of businesses because I try to make everything nice, perfect before I even start anything. It would, it would be nice to start... Uh, Iman Gadzi said this perfectly. Jump and build your way down. So, like, jump in and then see how you will get out of there. So, I think that isn't a bad idea. So, yeah, guys. See you tomorrow.